Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the next problem here, the um, you're given resistors, 80 ohms and 60 ohms, and capacitors, 80 uh, microfarads and 60 microfarads. This is the connection in series, whether it's resistors in series or capacitors in series. This is the connection in parallel, resistors in parallel, capacitors in parallel. Part A asks for the resistance of the series of resistors connected in series. We're asking for the effective resistance. If we substituted a resistor for these two in series, what would its value have to be? Just to add them up. Resistance in series is just the sum. Real simple. In this case, 140 ohms. Resistors in parallel is the effective resistance in parallel is the the reciprocal of the effective resistance in parallel is just the sum of the reciprocals of the resistors well um let's do that inverse 80 plus inverse 60 there we go 60 inverse plus 80 inverse equals well the inverse is 0 0.0292 and that would be inverse ohms the unit of resistance uh, so the resistance in parallel would be the reciprocal of this go back to my calculator take that reciprocal 34.3 ohms Okay, that's it. C. Um, capacitors in series. You'll notice the I pick the values to be the same. The formula for capacitance in series, the effective capacitance in series. If we were to replace these two with a single capacitor, what would its value have to be? That's what we mean by the effective capacitance. Well, when you put capacitors in series, you're adding the reciprocals. Just like resistors in, in parallel. Well, we've already done the calculation. And so um, the capacitance in series is 34.3. Units are different. Micro farads or 10 to the negative 6 farads. D. Capacitors in parallel. The effective capacitance in parallel is just equal to the sums. Add them up. Uh, we've already got the answer to that. We've already added 80 plus 60. 140 units are different than resistance, obviously. Um, microfarads. Okay. E. The time constant. Now we have resistance one and capacitance one. Um, the time constant is just going to equal to the product of the two. 80 ohms times 80 times micro is 10 to the negative 6. We've got to remember to keep our units straight. Well, an ohm times a farad is a second. So I'm getting 604, uh, two zeros times 10 to the negative sixth seconds. A farad times an ohm is a second. 80 times 80 is 6,400. And, uh, Converting that in scientific notation, that'd be 6.4 times 10 to the negative 3 seconds. Okay. Um, starting charge on C1. Let me get rid of some stuff here. Don't want to do that quite. There we go. Okay. 
Oops, let's go back to uh, this. Again. There we go. Delete it. Okay. So, um, time, uh, time constant, we've already got that. What's the starting charge? We are up to here. Starting charge on C1, part F. Well, uh, the charge is capacitance times voltage. 80 microfarads, 27 volts. Well, that's just the product of the two. 80, uh, a lot of times it's better to keep track of um, scientific notation. 80 times 10 to the sixth times 27 volts uh, equals. 0 0.00216 and the units will be in coulombs. As long as we stay, as long as we've converted um, the 80 microfarads, 80 times 10 to the negative 6 times 27, a farad times a volt is a coulomb. Okay, done with that. G, energy storage, 1 half C. V squared. Well, we know the capacitance. We know the voltage. Okay. Um, we've already got charge, so charge times voltage over 2 also works. We've already got charge in our um, calculator, so we can just multiply that by 27 and then divide by 2. Uh, 0.02916 joules. H. Now, the current at time equals zero, we have 27 volts across the capacitor, and uh, we let a switch. We let a switch go. There's a switch here. I I didn't draw it in earlier. Let's draw it in now. So, I throw the switch. There's 27 volts on the capacitor, um, and at when I start, I throw this switch, I connect the circuit, and all of a sudden current starts flowing through the resistor. What is the original current? Real easy. Ohm's law. Um, that V equals IR. Uh, you can find out the current. Well, voltage is 27 volts over 80 ohms. And the units will be in amperes. Back here, clear it. Uh, 27. Uh, 0.3375 amperes. Real easy. Okay. H. I. So now this is getting tricky. How long does it take? For uh, the charge on the capacitance to be 80% of its starting value. Well, when you're discharging, the equation is that um, V over your starting voltage is going to equal to Euler's number, E to the negative T over RC. And you want to know when this is equal to 80%, 0 0.8. Because of this equation here, if the voltage is 80%, the charge will be 80%. Um, so, so the charge is 80% of its starting value when the voltage is also 80% of the starting value, and of course the starting value is V naught. We don't even need to know the starting value. We just it's a ratio. Voltage over voltage original is 0 0.8, 80%. Okay, reverse the equation. Uh, T is negative R C, the logarithm natural logarithm this time of V. The original the voltage divided by the original voltage. Well, V over V naught is 0.8. We know what RC is. We've even calculated it. Um, 
G. We did that earlier, but I, okay. Um, RC is, uh, as you recall, 6.4 times 10 to the negative 3 seconds. So, time to go to the calculator. Point 0.8, take the natural log, it's a negative sign, which right here, you negate it again, so time will be positive. That's why we have the negative sign out front here. Okay. Negative sign times R, well, R is um, 80 ohms times 80 times 10 to the negative 6 uh, farads equals, um, and I forgot to multiply it by the negative, oops, let's do this again, okay, 0.8, take the logarithm, multiply it by um, 80 ohms and negative for the negative sign out front, times capacitance, 80 times 10 to the negative 6 equals, and we get 0. 0.00143. So it only takes, um, it takes 0 0.00143 seconds to decay to 80%. It takes, the RC time constant is 0 0.0064. So we're, we're in the ballpark. That makes sense. It makes sense. Okay. So we've kind of double checked ourselves. J, what's the current? Oh man, that's, this is so easy. It's, um, you've got 80% of the voltage. So the original voltage, well, you use this equation. So, ah, come on, you silly thing. Just trying to, there we go. Jay, last question. 80% of the voltage, 0 0.8 times 27 volts, we're just going to use this equation again, current equals voltage over resistance, here's the voltage, divide it by the resistance, 80 ohms, equals, plug and chug, 0 0.8 times 27, divide, oops, I'm, did I, okay, did it hit the wrong button, 0.8 times 27 divided by 80. Uh, 0 0.27 uh, amps. Okay. Makes sense. 80% of this. Okay, that's it.